Let's solve the equation 0.6 times the quantity x plus 20 plus 0.8 times the quantity x minus 10 is equal to 46. Now this equation has some decimals in it and I say we get rid of those decimals right off the bat. So let's begin by multiplying everything on both sides by the quantity 10. If we multiply the 0.6 and the 0.8 by 10, that will move those decimal points over one place. So let's do that. 10 times everything on the left. Now as we do that, we want to multiply 10 times this uh, group of factors and 10 times this group as well. So 10 times the 0 0.6 times x plus 20. And we also want to take 10 times the group of factors in the second part. So 10 times 0 0.8 times the quantity x minus 10. And don't forget to take 10 times the 46 on the right side of the equation as well. Now, as you begin to multiply, remember that we're multiplying three factors. To do this, we multiply the first two, we get that answer, and take it times the third piece. So 10 times 0.6 is 6. Now we take that times the quantity x plus 20. Oftentimes, students will make the mistake of multiplying 10 times both of those factors, but don't do that. Looking at the second part as well, we take 10 times 0.8 to get 8, and now we take that product times the remaining piece, x minus 10. The right-hand side, let's go ahead and just call that 460. Let's continue simplifying by using our distributive property. 6 times x plus 6 times 20 is 120 plus 8 times x or 8x minus 8 times 10 which is 80 is equal to 460. Combining like terms on the left, 6x plus 8x is 14x. 120 minus 80 is 40. That's all equal to 460. Let's begin to isolate our variable by subtracting 40 from both sides or subtracting it over to the right. 460 minus that 40 is 420. That leaves us with the 14x on the left. As a last step, we divide both sides by 14, leaving x is equal to 30. The solution set for this equation is 30.